hi everyone welcome back to my channel today the format of the video is gonna be a bit different i'm sure that a lot of other people are gonna find this relevant for their life as well so let's grab something to drink and start i'm currently 24 and for the past 17 years i have been studying first i did my high school then i directly moved into my bachelor degree which took me four years and then directly after this i started my masters and here i am two months after graduating and the question which i'm asking myself every day is what's next i just want you to know that if i did this path in this way and i just directly was jumping from one degree to another does not mean that this is the right way you just have to do whatever is comfortable for you even though you don't know what you want to do in the future just look at me as i told you i finished all this educational path and for now i just want to focus on my practical skills I started my full-time job just a few months ago and that's the fun part because I feel like there is no point in life where you just sit and you say okay that's it I found it the most important thing is just to be open to new things new skills new knowledge new people and opportunities Let's first start with this transition when you just finished your university or your school, it doesn't matter, and you go out in this world where there are so many people that are starting their jobs, someone is traveling, someone is doing YouTube or social media. For me, it was so weird the first days and weeks that I don't have to open my laptop and just work on some essays, do some homework. It felt like I, I'm free to do whatever I want, but at the same time, the thoughts in my head kept being there of like, oh my God, what do I do now? Okay, I found a job, but is it the job that I want? Or should I change the industry? I don't know what to do tomorrow or the next week, the next month or whatever. Relax, because that's absolutely okay. First of all, there is no need to rush because now that you have completed a certain stage of your studies, you can focus on something that you enjoy, that you like, that you're interested in, and it's fine if you don't just jump into your full-time job directly after because you really have to take that time to understand better what do you need in life. Maybe you're lacking some knowledge and you want to focus more on a certain industry that you're interested in. Maybe it's finding the dream job, the dream company you want to work for. And even if you start the job, it's okay to still search for more because as I told you before, there is no end date. Like there is no that kind of moment where you decide like, oh, okay, I found the company. That's it. I want to work there for the whole life. I mean, for sure, if it's your case, then I'm happy for you. But that's just the minor amount of people. A lot of other people keep changing companies, keep changing positions, keep changing teams. I have been working for quite some years. I first was doing my part-time job while I was studying. And then once I graduated, I directly started my full-time job. One of the first things that I experienced was starting the full-time job where people are all from different industries and they are much older than me. They have more uh, experience in other companies. First days I was like, oh my God, why did they hire me? I'm just a fresh graduate from university and I don't know what to give to the company. Actually, that's not true. If they hired you, if you got that position, it means that they saw the potential in you and it means that you are in the right place. Even though if you don't have those skills, it's fine, you're gonna learn. Maybe it will take you weeks, maybe months, maybe a couple of years, it's okay. Same time, I often think about life while you're a student. Now that I work, I have to do the job every day. I have to do this nine to five schedule. And for example, when I was a student, sometimes 
I didn't have class and I could just go for lunch with my friends during the day, something that I don't do that much anymore right now. But it takes time to adapt to this um, change. And also, even if you're not starting a job, even if you're still looking for something new, it really takes time and maybe even discipline and understanding that, okay, right now I just wanna rest and relax and not look for a job or not look for new opportunities. When I was still in my master's, I was thinking so much about the moment I will not be a student anymore. And I was stressing desperately that if I don't have a job directly after uni, what am I gonna do? I was putting so much pressure on myself to just start looking for something while I was still writing my thesis so that I have a plan after. For the same, it's both a good side and a bad, for me at least. Even now that I have the job, I constantly think about whether I'm in the right city, in the right country, whether I should move somewhere else, maybe I'm wasting time. Life after graduation is not just about paychecks, office hours, doing your nine to five. Of course it's not and it really depends on what you choose to do after graduating. In general, it's that amazing time when you can really focus on what you enjoy. Maybe you still don't know what you like. Maybe you have this time to really explore the different hobbies, interests, and knowledge that you might get. And you might tell me, what if I don't have the vision of what I want my life to look like? It's absolutely normal. I also don't understand that. I'm sure each of you is gonna figure it out. When it comes to the future, I often look at those people that have everything set in their mind. They just know what they're gonna do in life, what their future is gonna look like. But trust me, each of the people faced an uncertainty at some point. I'm sure that no one has just a perfect line like this it's always like a roller coaster you go up you know that you got this job oh my god you feel amazing about this but at some point you're like maybe it's not and it's just like it's never constant it just keeps going up and down this is why one of my aims for 2024 is really be open to new experiences even though if most of the time I will be not sure if that's the right thing to do or not, even if I will be confused about my future. At the end of the day, you make the choices. If you have the intention, if you want to do that, you can change your reality, your perspective on things. That was a very motivational conversation. One of the main goals of this video was to just talk about what I am currently experiencing and living, all the thoughts that I'm having about this time after you graduate, after a certain stage of your life closes. I hope that this video was useful to some of you. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Soon I will be posting much more videos. See you very soon!